Hey everybody! I got my nails done. I'll show you later. So here's our super cute little tag. Super, super cute. Hey, Debbie. We're gonna make a reindeer. Should probably trim that off. Of course, I have the snips that don't snip. Okay, I kind of feel like I can breathe right now. It's been a day. Although, after work, I do have to say, I went to go see my friend Ginger. I love Ginger. She's my nail tech. And she did my nails. And last time I had the foil on, right? So I'm like, ooh, let's do foil again. So she did foil and she put it on these two nails like she usually does, just a little bit here and a little bit there. And I was like, oh no, that's too pretty. We need more. So we put it on all of my nails and it's pink and silver. And I absolutely love it. Love it. And I don't know that you can see the pink, but it's really pretty. Oh, it's not, there it is. Anyway, so it's gorgeous. Oh, and I got a pedicure. I love ginger. And so now it's 8 o'clock before I get online to do my video. But here I am. Don't want to miss it. I mean, I've done 19 days in a row. My goodness. Couldn't miss day 20. Okay. So, this is our super cute tag. And I'm going to tell you all the little pieces that you need. Thank you, Debbie. I'm going to tell you all the little pieces that you need to make this guy. Okay. We're going to start with these. And these are from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And they go with the So Sentimental um, stamp set. It's a bundle. So um, you can get them together. And this stamp, the, the dies, they have these scalloped rectangles and then these shapes, which are awesome for sentiments. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to use the largest two. We're going to cut the largest one out of the red foil paper. And mine, is, don't, it's kind of nasty. Because my, have you seen this? So when your plates get like that, it's time to swap out, swap out the top one. Because the top one is what's going to make those marks. Nobody's going to see it on this car, on this, but um, you don't want that. Especially when you're working with foil paper. So, one thing you can do is just put a piece of copy paper um, over it with your die. So that way it doesn't, um, the, the plastic doesn't mess it up. Mar it up. Okay, so then the second, the next die down is cut out of the... What is it called? It's a beautiful paper. Wonder of the Season paper. And I was going to do it this way, but then it just, I don't know. I don't think it showed up. I don't know. We can, I have it right here. So when I get the reindeer made, we can, we can talk about it. We could talk about it. <laughs> we could take a vote. <laughs> when we, I don't know, the red foil or the black. I don't know. I kind of like the black. Um, so let's see. We have some um, of our oval dies. And I don't even know which ones they are. It's this one and this one. It's the smallest one for sure. Then a couple sizes up. If you want to make one, you just have to figure out. I had the wrong one and he looked funny because his head was too big. So don't do that. Hey, my sister's watching. I forgot to text you. Hey, I'm going live. And then we have the two, the smallest scallop circle and then the smallest regular circle to make the joy to the world. Okay. So that's all of our dies. And then we need the um, sprig punch. And we're just going to cut this out of um, early espresso. I'll just go ahead and do that right now. So that's simple. 
But here's our pieces. That's not our pieces. That's not all of them. Forgive me. I'm going to beg your forgiveness right this minute. May I have your forgiveness? I'm going to use a retired punch. Because there is nothing else that punches a half inch. I need a half inch circle. He needs a nose. And I'm so sorry. It was on the clearance rack. Is it still on the clearance rack? I don't know. If you need a half inch punch, go get it off the clearance rack if it's still there. Grab it quick. Okay. So, we're going to take the smallest, um, whatever this is. It's an oval. We're going to take the smallest oval and we're going to put it on his, put it on his face. We're going to try to get it straight. Don't put it all the way down at the bottom. It looks funny. I tried that too. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm saving you guys from lots of things. There's Christy Girienti and Debbie Eaton. It sure was nice to see you the other day, Debbie. I saw her eat lunch with her fella at Chicken Sally Chick. One of my favorite places to eat lunch. Um, his little red foil nose... Uh, we're just going to add with a dimensional. And we're just going to add it right there-ish. A little bit off the edge. So it looks like his nose. How is things in Christy Gary? Christy, do you get like a whole week off? She's a teacher. I'm thinking she does. That's awesome. Um. So, I did you see me? I ripped the sprig apart. So, I'm going to put just a bit of glue right here and I'm gonna put his antler over there I'm guessing just guessing Chrissy I made this little reindeer years ago like in one of my very first card classes at Christmas we made it now we made it let me tell you what we had we had a background stamp that had um music on it and the that went away so okay so here's the red tell me what you think and here's what here's what here's what got me i'll show you because i stamped the sentiment craft every day do a video do a live video every day that'll get you to craft every day um i stamped the joy of the world in red because i kind of liked it in red and then it kind of got lost on the red. What do you think? The red or the black? I have them both cut out. Hey Mary! So there's the red with the red words and then there's the black. What do you think? Does anybody care? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of like the black just because the words the joy to the world shows up better. In my opinion. And that's all it is. Everybody's got one, I'm sure. Do y'all care? Anybody? Nobody? I mean, I can make this one red just so it's different. I can make my finger red just so it's different. Okay, Christy, we're going with the red. Since yours is the first one I saw. So I'm going to put this down with stamp and seal. Stamp and seal. Because it's on foil paper. And I'm pretty sure... The, the liquid glue is not going to soak in to that paper, and it'll just be a gluey mess. Oh, I could stamp it in black. You're going to make me punch out another... Hang on. You want me to punch out another circle? Let me punch out another circle. We'll stamp it in black and see what it looks like. I'm right here. I'm not going far. I'm going to cut this circle out. One moment, please. My die cutting machine will not fit on my table over there. Well, it would. There's too much junk. Okay, so I have red. Okay, so let's let's try it in black. Let's see what happens. We can we can change it up. Hmm. 
<laughs> no one will care when they rip the cuteness. You're right. Nobody's going to care at all. Hi, Linda. Joy to the world. This is a really pretty stamp, though. What stamp sets it from? You want to guess? Sandra's favorite Christmas stamp set. Does that show up better? Might. Maybe better. And yeah, I went with green because I wanted just a, just a, you can't almost see it. Okay, we're going to make it black. Ha. Huh. Thanks for sharing, Linda. I appreciate that. So the last one I popped up the white part and this time I'm going to pop up the whole thing. Because I think it's just going to be better. So this is how I glued his antlers down. I'll show you because I don't know if this works for you or not. But I glued that whole thing down first. And then I just snuck a little bit of glue right in here. Because I didn't want it to be too gluey. And you also don't want glue... Um, See, I didn't want glue right here because it's not on the, it's not on there. So, just be, don't make everything all sticky. Just takes a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit of glue to get those little antlers sucked down. Okay, so then we're going to put the joy to the world. Joy to the world. I'll show you how I did the uh, whole, I don't know if you call this cheating. Call it a tip. Don't call it cheating. Joy to the world. Okay. So now for the hole, I got it in the middle. You want to know how? I measured it. So I turned my tag over and I measured. It's on the millimeter side. So, you know, I got to count like little tiny squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I took my pen that I have since put away and I put a circle because I'm going to punch it out. So I, I had to, I wanted it to be in the middle. So contraband, it's from Hobby Lobby because we don't have a hole punch. You know, I try to use all Stampin' Up stuff, but if they don't make what I need, I just, you know, sometimes I just got to. Um, so let's see, this is the red satin, double stitched satin ribbon. It's really pretty. So we're going to use it. Um, I was going to make a Grinch. Can I show you guys my Grinch? It's not cute. It needs a tweak. I tried to use um, Wendy Cranford's. She did it in like 2015. She made a Grinch. Oh my word, it was super adorable. Sanders, wait till I show you mine. It is not so super adorable. It's like he ran into a wall. It's like the Grinch ran into a wall or something. I don't know. He's not so cute. I'll show you. We were going to make it and I'm like, mm, he's not cute. And then the other, there it is. The, I have one of these that's open. The black and white... From the Pampered Pets. This is really cute twine. I really like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to tie a bow around here. Just because it adds something to it. Maybe. Just a bow. Nothing hard. Is anybody taking time off for Thanksgiving? Is anybody going anywhere? Does anybody actually get to go see their family? They're shutting states down left and right. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm going to stay right here and I'm going to go eat at Lee Kaiser's house. Okay, so, there you go. There's my, there's my reindeer. 
sing it as loud as he can. Joy to the world. Okay, are you ready to see this Grinch? I don't know what's wrong with him. He needs something. I'm not really sure. I don't know. We'll have to work on him. I don't think he's cute. So that's definitely not what we're making. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do with them. Like, I think he has potential. But there's, there's just something that's off with him. I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, so here's my tag. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I know that it was um, late. Um, tomorrow won't be so late. Tomorrow will be, I don't know, it'll be afternoonish sometime, I think. I don't know, that's my plan. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek when it's uh, a few minutes before it's time, okay? Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.